Alrighty, let's play this in full first here. There is no sound. It's gonna go for the gun. Da da da. Twirl. Shh. Almost shoot. There you go. And then react. Shpabom. All right. Cool stuff. I like the the posing. Everything is clear for the most part. I got some comments here and there. Some nice lines. But the main reason why I'm picking this one is because of the timing. Everything feels a bit too drawn out. No pun intended here with the draw. But this is all it takes a bit too long. This could be condensed into just doing the twirl, going for the gun. And even this here could just be grabbing this a lot faster. If you can shape a couple of frames out of this and also getting potentially a bit more of an arc into this. It follows into that twirl versus this that feels a bit straight here as it goes just straight up there. And I like how you have the head move out here. But what I would do is the tricky thing is that you have a lot of stuff covering the face. It seems all very overlapping. You want to keep this as clean as possible. I would consider something where that is a bit more the case of the uh, line of action of the body where you have the head way out here, this out here. So the twirl happens like this and you still have some separation between all of that and the head. And that way it's not so, let me go back here, uh, straight. With that, you can have a bit more of a curved body line. And that way, when you go like this, it's not just that, but because you are potentially this far back, let's just pretend this is where you're at. If you put on onion skinning here, well, let me just delete this, it's cleaner. So you have that, let's pretend this far out, and then you go into, into this, and even that might have a potential bigger move, shoulders up here. You can see, if I'm going fancy here with different colors, you can see the amount of distance that the character is um, covering here. Versus now, let's go super fancy and go with, what should we go with? Let's go red. You see right now, you have this line where his body is and then this line where his body is. It's just a smaller distance of travel. It just in terms of contrast, it's just not as exaggerated as it could be. Let me switch back to this here. So imagine like those moments would be more exaggerated where you have from here to here, maybe in between, but even be lower with the breakdown, just pushing those elements. But going back to the timing, that takes a bit too long. That's not too bad. If you zap into this faster, that's cute. I like that. That's good timing there. But even this could have just a bit fast. I would shave a couple of frames out. That especially, once you get into this, I would find a way to lean him a bit more over there so that we have a clean separation between the head and those arms. So it's not so overlappy there. Like all of that, to me, it sticks way too long. Could be cut in half, at least. And if you go from here to here, it might even have a little bit of relaxation in those arms to go lower to separate that. Not that you can go lower than his beard, but trying to find moments where we don't get too close, where it's almost a tangent here with that line and that mouth line there. Just kind of free things up and keep it clean. Because again, imagine the head would be further back, you wouldn't have that overlap. You would have a clean view of the gun, the arms, and then that hat could be somewhere here and the head could be here and that would just be cleaner. Not that my drawing is awesome, but hopefully that Makes sense. That's not too bad, but I would still go, whoa, this into maybe a bit more exaggeration in what the root is doing. So you go, whoa, it's a bit more of a down, then up with the push on that leg. And you can potentially speed this whole thing up by 10% a bit more and potentially even wider in terms of how far you're going. You're going pretty far, but maybe just a bit more. Maybe it's also the speed I'm reacting to. It just feels like I'm really seeing all those multiples versus it's so fast that they serve as multiples and, and smear frames. It feels like it's just a tad too slow and even this drop would just be oh, and just a bit faster. That's the main thing. I think there are a lot of Cool moments in there, but just overall, again, I picked this one where I feel ah, this could really benefit from just a bit snappier timing. And watch out when you go down here. I'm not sure if this is 
the foot sliding if you started to add some camera moves because it's not uncommon to add camera movement stuff but when you have no background no lines no nothing you don't know if it's the character moving or if it's the the camera moving so watch out i would if you do this potentially with a pose change it might even pivot off of here just do a rotation over but watch out for feet just kind of sliding around like that and that's about it